guys. So I woke up this morning and I um was doing some breath work and affirmations and really just feeling into this amazing energy that just came in. Like I I really feel great. Like I woke up and I was just like, "Wow, like that's some really powerful energy right now." And and I felt good in just every way. And so um I started writing down some downloads and then those downloads turned into automatic writing. And and that happens for me a lot. That's like just one way spirit starting to work with me personally and my the gifts that I have and how messages and and intuitive hits and everything come through me. And it's different for everybody. Everybody, you know, comes in a different package and expresses in a different way and uses their gifts in different ways and comes in sh more strongly with certain gifts and then develops the other ones along the way you know it's almost like you have these initiations and once you hit these initiations which I feel like I've recently just went through a huge initiation in these past couple weeks and it feels like oh I finally like came past that you know and and now what happens after those initiations you start activating more of that dormant DNA within yourself and stepping more into who you truly are in your in your mission and it's all those little breadcrumbs and not thinking too much about things that you have to do or or how am I on mission am I doing the right thing is this what I got to do it's how, like you really have to get used to the the unknown stop being in fear of the unknown and get used to not knowing what's going to happen next next and the more comfortable you can get from that space the more you're sitting pretty in life because it doesn't matter if contrast comes up because you're riding that wave. It doesn't even feel like contrast. Something that would have like flipped you out, triggered you, turned your whole life upside down. If it happens to you now, you're like, huh, like no big deal. This is the solution to the problem. You know it in that moment. Spirit's with you. The universe is with you. You, you just have peace in those moments of chaos and which is like, literally our world right now it's like how can you master that right so anyways um spirit came through with this message and i want to read it to you guys real quick and then um i'm not sure if i'm going to talk after that or not but we'll see what comes through but um just know like you are a walking miracle you already are already and that has to do with this message you're already that you just have to tap into it you just have to activate that dormant dna um it's not junk. It's what it, it, it's what <laughs> it's what you tap into in order to become a walking miracle. You already are that. You're not reaching externally to become something else, to achieve something else, to obtain something else materially. You aren't material. You are a an infinite soul that is just experiencing life in order to expand. Okay, so let me dive into this. And, and it's funny because afterwards, Spirit was like, call this, this message, you become a walking miracle. Okay. You embody all that you desire. To manifest it physically, you merely have to choose a higher frequency to tune into. Once you can consistently maintain this higher frequency, you will experience the miracles that also align with that frequency. No exceptions. This is universal law. Allow the blessings to rain down upon you. We say allow in quotes because it is a wall that you put up with your own free will that doesn't allow abundance and love in. This wall is a representation of a lower vibrational frequency, is a representation of lower vibrational frequency energies you interact with. Have the courage to look at that wall that you have built and see what it is constructed of. Childhood trauma, abandonment, insecurities, fear in all of its many forms. Incrementally, you will start looking at all of those wounds that hold you in fear and learn how to be the alchemist. Contrast will arise and you will observe it, but ultimately come through unscathed because you have learned to consistently maintain higher frequencies. This kind of self-mastery is a match to miracles. You become a walking miracle. And that was just so powerful and it came out of nowhere. I was just sitting... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just sitting in bed trying to meditate, but I have a hard time meditating in the traditional way. I'm a very um, active meditator. I love walking meditations. I love cleaning my house and getting into that flow state, that meditate, that connected space. Everybody meditates in different ways. Everybody interacts with spirit in different ways. Everybody expresses their gifts in different ways. That's why it's important for us to talk about our own personal experiences with each other because when those parallels or those like uh, you know those things connect with other like-minded individuals that's important it makes us feel less alone it makes us feel like okay other people in this world understand how the universe works how to interact with it how to co-create with everything around you how to make contrast feel like bliss you know and that's just it you sink you sink into those high vibrational energies and I say sink and it felt weird because it was like sink oh that feels dense that feels low like why do you even use that word like but you really um step into I should say those higher vibrational energies and learn how to maintain them that means when triggers come up, learn how to be the observer. Learn how to not react. I will forever repeat this stuff to you guys because that is where the work is. That is where all the growth is. People think it's just obtaining all this information about spirituality. Yes, that's beautiful and it can help guide you along the way. But at the end of the day, it's you working with your own self. You want to save the world. You want to help the world. You want to come here and do what you literally came here to do raise your own vibration work on your own self work on how you interact with others work on how you interact with life in general see where you're programmed see where you're letting the mate things in the matrix low vibrational things take your power away you're giving it away you're giving it away you shouldn't even be interacting with the rest of the world until your cup is overflowing because you won't be the best parent you won't be the best in employee if you're still in the matrix you won't be the best business owner you won't be the best partner in a relationship you won't be your best unless your cup overflows and your cup can't overflow unless you're choosing higher vibrational energies to 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 interact with and even if contrast comes up you can still choose a higher vibrational energy and frequency and ride the wave be the calm in the storm that is mastery. You are already a walking miracle. You just have to choose to step into it. You're like, whenever you feel like miracles aren't happening for you, whenever you feel like life is, doesn't feel very good, it's because you're choosing to play in those energies. You're choosing it. No matter what's happening to you, you are choosing the way that you feel. I love you guys. You are a walking miracle. You just have to step into it and own it and work on yourself. That's how you change the world. You change you.